So I want to talk a little bit about, uh, I, I heard this story several years ago. Have any, has anybody heard of the Rosetto effect? This is something I learned uh, about many years ago. There was actually a study. Um, this was done in the 60s, 1964. So before I was ever born, this study was done. What if I told you that science has figured out a way to eliminate your risk of heart disease if you are under the age of 55, and half your risk of heart disease if you are over the age of 65, without reducing the amount of fat you eat or alcohol you drink? Sign me up, right? <laughs> so. Back in the 60s, they actually, I'm going to read a little bit from this article that I found online about it. There's actually several, so you can look it up. It's called the Rosetto Effect. A small town of Italian immigrants in Rosetto, Pennsylvania, inadvertently figured out how to do this. And the results have been scientifically confirmed and validated. In 1964, a study published in the Journal of American Medical Medical Association examined a population of recent Italian immigrants in Rosetto, a small town in the state of Pennsylvania. The study was instigated because the town doctor was completely baffled by the people near immune to heart disease. He reported his observation and an extensive statistical population study funded by the American state and federal governments was conducted. So basically, this doctor was blown away by like, what is happening here is like, everywhere else this is going on, people are suffering from heart disease, but what is it about this community of people where they're not suffering from this? No one in Rosetta under the age of 47 died of a heart attack. There was a complete absence of heart disease in men under the age of 55. The rate of heart attacks in men over 65 was half the national average. And the death rates from all causes was 35% lower than anywhere else. So they thought at first maybe these folks, you know, they, they were Italian immigrants. Maybe they were eating, you know, more of those healthy fats and whatever. It's like, no, these folks were working in mines they were eating lard, they were smoking, they were just doing all the things that science tells us is not good for us. And maybe it's not. But what's more important is what they found out in this group of people is that there was a community. There was caring, there was this sharing of brotherly love, there was these people. And you can imagine coming from Italy, it's like, oh man, we gotta keep together, we gotta stay together, we gotta, we gotta take care of each other. And that, is the difference. That is a difference. I would love for someone to come and do a study of emissaries. Now that would be interesting, right? I'm sure we've all noticed that, that uh, there are many emissaries that live and are vital, like well past the national average, right? It's because we share something. We care for each other. We love one another. There is this sense of brotherly love and we are following one of those essential commandments that Jesus set forth for us. We love one another. We do the best that we can. We don't always get it right. It's not always perfect. But we get up and we start again. We do it again. We do it again. We do it again. We forgive. We let go. We begin again. 